the sealed bids for leasing 718 acres of county-owned land in Pauilo were opened on Thursday, and it looks like one company is the high bidder on all 16 parcels. Okay, so here are the final results from the sealed bid. As a reminder, it doesn't necessarily mean this is the lessee. All Cool Fuel LLC won the rights to lease all the parcels, although it's unknown if the company will choose to do so. A stunned group of bidders, a mix of local farmers, ranchers and business people, watched as the results of the bid openings were posted, only to see that every single bid on the 16 different parcels were doubled or tripled by all Cool Fuel's winning offers. So there's nothing open? Um, at this point, they have the highest bid on all 16 parcels. Hawaii County Property Manager Ken Van Bergen explained. But we do have a winner uh, for one. One winner actually won all 16 lots. Um, and I should clarify that's not really a winner. He was the highest bid. So now the next step would be to go and contact that person and ask them are they, do they want to keep all their winning bids. While it's not known what the intentions of the company are in regards to the Hamakua lands, an August 2011 article from Pacific Business News says that All Cool Fuels wanted to build an ethanol plant on the Big Island. The article says that company principal Dwayne Bittner, who is an engineer at Ford Motor Company, wants to leave the automaker and build a $5 million ethanol producing plant project at the Natural Energy Laboratory of Hawaii Authority on the Big Island. Bittner told the publication that he eventually sees his plant producing anywhere from 500,000 to 2 million gallons of ethanol a year. At the time, he hadn't found land or a local feedstock provider to work with yet. We also found the minutes of a September 2011 Natural Energy Laboratory of Hawaii Authority board meeting in which members voted to approve in concept all cool fuels, biofuel and renewable co-products manufacturing plant project. Again, it was noted that no feedstock had been identified. The bid opening for the Pauilo land leases had been pushed back a few weeks from its original date in order to clarify the rules for bidders as far as placing multiple bids. Uh, one of the questions that came up during the process of this um, seal bid was, well, what if I want to just have one lot but I'm bidding on 10? And so the decision was made, well, okay, you go ahead and do the highest bid on each, each of the parcels that you proposed on, but you'll have the option to pull any bid. Uh, at the end. So let's say you won all 10 but you only wanted one, you have the option to pull the nine. So uh, it's just kind of the way it played out following the way the code's written and the way the rezo is written. So now that we have the seal bids opened, we will contact the highest bidder. If he chooses to go with or the company chooses to go with all 16 bids, then they'll go before council probably in about a month or so and to get approved. If they only choose one or two, then we'll go to the next highest bidders on the remaining lots and, and keep going through that process until we have all 16 parcels with the highest bidder. When the county council passed the resolution authorizing leases of the Hamakua lands, there was a restriction put in place on growing or experimenting with genetically modified organisms. But Van Bergen said there is no restriction on growing a feedstock for a biofuel venture. Uh, well, biofuel is basically just crops, whether it be corn or wheat, Weeds or not weeds, but we, you know whatever. There's there's various various crops you can grow for for biofuels. That's within the zoning code for these parcels. Uh, you can't put a plant on to refine them or anything, but you can definitely grow the crops. Hamakua Councilman Dominic Yagong was instrumental in opening up the lands for lease, fighting passionately against an initial plan by the administration to sell the lands, which were claimed by the county as part of a tax settlement with Hamakua Sugar Company. The lands have lay fallow ever since, and numerous attempts to unload the property by different administrations throughout the years have met with resistance. Again, keep in mind now, what these lands were set to do was it was said to be eucalyptus trees that was going to be planted for the next 55 years. That's what these lands were destined to, to become. The community celebrated the opportunity last September as terms for the leases and the bid process were finalized. I'm just stoked that the process is happening. It's, it's been a couple years and uh, the faster we can get this taken care of, the faster we can uh, maybe get some, uh, uh, some ranchers and farmers together, some aquaponics, uh, and get some of the things that make a sustainable community sustainable. And I think that'll be a big benefit for the community. Now it looks like a new industry with a different spin on agriculture could very well make use of the Hamakua lands. I, w I don't want to say this is the final results because it, it truly isn't. It still needs to go to council.
And we need to approach him and see if he still wants all 16. He might change his mind. So we'll see what happens.